it's like to drive not in winter anymore. <laughs> like some of the footage from this morning. I've switched cameras. I am on my proper camera now. And while the boys are napping, I just wanted to give you a little update about work and what I've been up to. The new Eclipse is out. It's been out for a few weeks now, a couple weeks. Um, it, it's also sold out twice. Um, but there's a bigger shipment on its way. So maybe by the time that I publish this, um, it will actually be back in the shops in the shops it's, i just have a really hard time keeping it in stock <laughs> i'm very happy with the new formula i really like it um it's a lovely slippery essence um i'm using the same surfactants that i used to in like the first version of eclipse but i've included some fruit enzymes so that you get a very gentle exfoliation you can leave it on as a mask so that's really nice i find that's a good benefit to it and it's got some great actives um, such as green tea and cucumber and um, white willow bark um, so that's great for the brightening action um, there's some that's also the salicylic acid which is going to um, also have a very gentle exfoliation and it's anti-inflammatory so it's going to and it can actually it's oil soluble so it can actually get into your sebum um, in, into your pores and break down some of that oxidized sebum um, and yeah, the fruit enzymes, and it's also got some B vitamins and some allantoin, which is going to help with the anti-aging. <laughs> and um, just be very soothing and just be overall beneficial to your skin tone. Um, so yeah, so you're going to notice that Eclipse isn't like a very foamy facial cleanser. But, you know, just because something doesn't foam doesn't mean it's not cleaning your skin. Um, in the original formula, it might have foamed a little bit more because that's me as like a formulator trying to create a product based on consumers' expectations. But at the same time, like you don't need something to foam to truly be cleansing your skin. So um, just keep that in mind that even though it's not like, woo, bubbles, it's still doing its job properly. So uh, basically I'm going to, I have cut out two ingredients that I like but uh, will no longer be working with um, and that is uh, the virgin coconut oil because too many people are sensitive to it and shea butter. Um, shea butter I'm finding more and people are de developing sensitivities to it and it may just be because there's more people using green beauty and so it's not that people are actually becoming more sensitized it's just that more people are using it um but then that's sort of the thing too is that it's become such a big industry that it makes me worried that um it's not really sustainable and that it's being adulterated and that um the working conditions may be getting worse and worse because um the cost of shea hasn't changed too dramatically so that could mean you know that maybe quality has gone down that it's not really shea that people aren't being paid enough like i'm not entirely sure um it's more just like a feeling it's more just my intuition but i don't um i'm not excited about it anymore and i like to bring my best to you, I need to be excited about the ingredients that I'm using. Um, I need to be really excited about the products that I'm producing. And when I'm just not becoming so in love or so excited by something, it's then it's not good enough for you. Um, so that's essentially what happened with Eclipse. Um, you know, Eclipse came out whenever I launched my like the new version of my brand, and so I had a lot on my mind at that time and. Uh, yeah, maybe I think I just included too many things that just didn't need to really be there. And I also got to the point where I hated um, actually creating it. So that's not going to give you like the good juju and the good vibes, you know. Um, so I really, I love everything about the new formula. I love every, uh, for Eclipse, I love everything about the new formula for uh, Aurora. Um, it's a fabulous leave-on product. And I have to say that Aurora's quality is going up like tenfold 
but I'm not changing the price. And the reason why I can do that is that um, I never chose to scale my company in the traditional route. So as I become more successful, literally, like besides paying myself like a little bit more, all of the costs, like all of the, the profits, everything, all my money just goes towards um, making my products better. And yeah, so you, you win, you know, every time I reformulate, it's not because I'm trying to figure out a way to cut corners or to, you know, to make something cheaper or whatever. It's always because I want to find a way of making a better product for the same price um, for you, not for me. It costs me more, but that's fine. And um, yeah, just something I just I want to totally exceed your expectations for the price of my products. So even though, you know, $40 isn't like, you know, eco lux price, it's not cheap either, but like, it's not like $400, which seems to be de rigueur. Um, I, I want to deliver very high quality goods to you. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And the new Aurora, you know, people hate change, but um, trust in me that it's a better product. It's a fabulous leave on. It's a great cleanser, just like before. And uh, same with Eclipse. It's better than the first version. Um, it's going to take some getting used to. Maybe it is different. It's, it's different, but uh, it's a fabulous mask now. I think it's got more beneficial ingredients than the original. I think, I know. It's, it's more beneficial. It's more in line with my formulating philosophies. Um, so every single ingredient in the new Eclipse is a skin benefit. Whereas before, there was a couple ingredients that I added just for formulation purposes, like just to get a certain effect. And I didn't really feel great about that, so I changed it. And it's the same with Aurora. Um, I'm cutting out uh, not just the coconut and the shea, but I'm also co um, cutting out the satyryl alcohol and sodium satyryl sulfate, I think it's called, um, which are basically these two emulsifiers that I would use to, to get the, the milky effect um when i when that when that when that emulsifier was marketed to me by one of my suppliers they said that okay it's eco -ser, which means that you can be um, certified organic and use it um but that it was coconut derived so i was like cool coconut industry it's very sustainable i'm okay with that and then at some point it changed and it was palm derived and i don't know when that happened but that's not cool so i am cutting it out of my formulas it's gone um so, you know, I just wanted to be very transparent and open about that. Um, you know, as formulators, we are marketed, we are marketed um, ingredients and I was very excited about that ingredient and now I'm not at all and it's gone. Um, never purchasing it again, never su supporting it again. You know, always striving to get better, always striving to make my company leaner and uh, better and more exciting for everyone. So I just uh, made dinner for the family, started prepping some food for the rest of the week since um, we're not going to be home very much for the next three days. Um, I'm bringing my mom to the hospital for the next two days, um, doing that stuff with her and my son is going to be either in his daycare or his um, forest school for the next, yeah, until th Friday. Um, so we'll need some food. I gotta drive everyone around. I have to somehow cram and work in there. And I'll be vlogging. And this is the worst light possible. <laughs> and I hear my cat screaming, so everyone wants a piece of jazz. That's per usual. It's all good.
Today was another um, frustrating day at that cancer clinic. I mean, they do their best, I suppose. Um, and I've always just been so dismayed by the healthcare system. I know I should be grateful. I live in Canada. We have a supposedly great one, but it doesn't feel that way. So I'm wearing an apron because I just, I always wear an apron when I make dinner, you guys. And um, I love aprons. That's a secret about me. So clearly I didn't want to talk about the cancer clinic. Um, yeah, it's just frustrating. Um, so tomorrow is Valentine's Day. We are not celebrating Valentine's Day tomorrow. We're going to celebrate on Friday. But I had to help my son make all of his little Valentine's Day cards. It's the first time he's had to hand some out. And it'll be the first time that he gets some. And this is so cute. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, tomorrow will be a warm day finally. It's the first warm day that we've had ever. <laughs> It'll be another day of driving around for me, lots of errands, um, taking my son places, gotta take my husband places, taking my mom to chemo. What am I gonna do? I'm not gonna work. I'm sort of giving up on <laughs> getting too much done this week. It's just one of those weeks for me where it's like every day there's just like so many appointments and things. Um, I don't think very much is gonna happen. You know, just a little bit of admin work and that kind of stuff, a little bit of writing. Um, today I tried to go work at a cafe in like the next town over which is like my hometown where my mom lives and it was this really nice cafe that I like to work in I was sitting there writing and working and then all of a sudden my husband walked in <laughs> and sat down two tables next to me but you know I had a couple of really productive weeks the past like two three weeks have been amazing I've just been like putting out so much work Good quality just like lots of stuff that's just been on my to-do list for a while I've just been like banging it out so um, I don't feel too anxious about not being able to get like everything done because even if I get everything done there's always more to do it never stops so sometimes I just have to um, you know just just take a step back and just be like okay it's just not gonna be a super productive week but you know, I'm I'm doing I'm playing my other role. I'm playing my role of mom and daughter and wife. <laughs> so, okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey you guys, it's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. So I've got my, wear, my red sweater on. Um, it is a beautiful, warm day outside and um, I've got my morning errands done, driving people around so I have a few hours to get some work done and if possible, I wanna try to go for a little walk because it's um, gonna be about five degrees Celsius, which is nice for the middle of February so I want to take advantage of that sunshine and the sort of spring feelings. Um, I love days like this. So um, whenever I only have a couple of hours to work, one concept that, um, I think my camera's crooked, <laughs> one concept that my husband and I find to be very helpful and effective is um, from a book and I don't remember the author but the book is called um, The One Thing. And so really it's just about figuring out what your one thing is going to be to focus on. Um, so that means I don't sit at my computer and check emails, um, which is one reason why I suck at returning emails. Um, it doesn't, you know, I'm not going to get things off my checklist. It's literally, I'm concentrating on one 
thing and one thing only. So today what that is going to be for me is um, creating a batch of Eclipse um, to go to Canada and nope, no end. <laughs> so I was gonna be like, and keep working on Aurora and there's a thing on my program 21 days that I wanna fix. Um, no, 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 no. So I'm gonna do a small batch of Eclipse to go to Canada. That's going to be my one thing. If there's any time left over, I am going to uh, fix a couple of links on my um, program called 21 Days. And um, so I actually added a discount code to 21 Days. And I think this is like a little concept that I'm going to be playing with. For those of you that watch my longer videos and just like have the patience to sit here and like watch my life and, and listen to me babble. Um, your reward is that I'm going to drop these little Easter eggs, um, as I guess programmers call them. So an Easter egg is like a little hidden surprise, like maybe on a website or in a game or something like that. So there's an Easter egg in this video, and that Easter egg is the code ZEBRACAT. <laughs> And I chose Zebra Cat because whenever I was writing up the the, uh, the discount code, I looked over towards the window and I have a picture, of this cute little drawing of a zebra, and my cat was looking out the window. So I was like, Zebra Cat. All right, there we go. Zebra Cat. So that's the discount code, and that's going to give you 15% off my program 21 days. And I didn't put a expiry date. Um, so there you go. That's 15% off. 21 days. And if you're wondering what 21 days is, it's basically um, a 21 day program that takes you through the mind skin connection. And it's very tough. Um, it's sort of like life coaching um, meets like industry insider. Um, there's like some, some health coaching in there. There's it. It's not a mishmash. It all guides you like on one path, but there it's very multi-dimensional and it's tough. There's a lot of journaling. You do a lot of like deep digging. Um, and it's a passion project of mine. I've been working on it for years. I constantly work on it. So whenever you sign up, you get the latest and greatest version and then you always get the updates. And, um, so there you go. It's like, it's, it's the missing component to me in the beauty industry. Um, products are great. Products are very supportive. Um, diet is great and diet is very supportive and lifestyle, but, uh, the whole mind skin connection thing is just a huge part of the story of great skin and, um, it's very hard to, to get there. So this helps you with a lot of the blocks, a lot of the self-sabotage and just like all kinds of stuff that you might not even have realized that you were um, doing to yourself and um, how much responsibility we can, it's about, you know, how much responsibility we can truly take for how our skin is. And, um, you know, it's about taking back that control, taking the responsibility and taking back that control in a way that's healthy, in a way that's sustainable, and it's like, it can be applied, you know, like throughout your whole life in all kinds of things. So even if it's you're not necessarily dealing with like terrible skin, you know, um, there's just a few things you want to change, you want to get your glow back, and that's going to be perfect for you. Um, it's also great for you if you are dealing with something more like eczema, psoriasis, acne, you've seen doctors, nothing's working. Um, this may very well be the missing link for you. And I'm finding, because I'm currently going on a bit of a weight loss journey, um, it's helping me with my mental blocks when it comes to uh, weight loss. So uh, there you go. It's uh, Zebra Cat, 15% off, 21 days. I'm going to go and make a batch of Eclipse. Um, and that's going to be my one thing, <laughs> and I will see you later.